Good morning, happy Sunday everyone. Um, I'm so excited to be able to share a Bible story with you today. Um, and we also have a fun activity too. I'm really excited about that. So why don't we go ahead and start our class with prayer. Go ahead and bow your heads with me. Dear God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for all the ways that you love us and take care of us. I pray that you would just be with all of our families. Um, please bless them. Keep everyone healthy and safe. And I just pray that um, during this time that we would just in, that you would help our faith grow, and that we would really um, grow in our relationship with you and love you more. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is how we read God's word. Read God's word. Read God's word. This is how we read God's word. It's Bible story time. All right, guys. So I want to share a story in the Bible. Here's my little Bible. And it's about Jesus and a man who couldn't see. Okay, so everybody close your eyes. Open them. Could you see anything? I couldn't see anything, could you? Well, there are people in our world that are born and they cannot see. And that's how this man right here, he could not see. So it's in, found in the book of Luke and it's about Jesus and this man. All right, so let's go ahead and start. One day, Jesus was going into the town. A poor man sat by the road. The man could not see. He could not work. Then Jesus came by. Help me, the man said to Jesus. Help me, help me, help me. Now, he couldn't see, but how did he know that was Jesus? Hmm, something to think about. Stop that, some people said, but the man did not stop. Have him come over here, said Jesus. So some men helped bring him to Jesus. What do you want? Jesus asked. I want to see, said the man. Then you will see, said Jesus. At once, the man could see, like right away, right then. So close your eyes, open them. That's how fast it was. That's how powerful Jesus is. He was so happy. Look how loving Jesus is towards him. Do you know that Jesus is loving towards us in the same way? Yep. He could see trees. He could see people. And he could see Jesus. Thank you, said the man. Then the man went with Jesus to do him, to help him do his work. He loved Jesus very much, and he knew that Jesus loved him. Isn't that incredible how powerful Jesus is? But something else that the man had was he had faith. And faith is believing in something you cannot see. And we believe in Jesus, even though we can't see him. This man was able to see Jesus, but we don't get to see him. We don't get to see God, but we have faith that he is real and that he is with us always. So this man had to have faith. And with that being said, so how do we help our faith to grow? Well, just like this man, he wanted to be with Jesus. He wanted to get to Jesus. And so that's the same way we can help our faith grow is by getting to Jesus. And the way we do that is through his word. We can read his Bible. And we can also pray. We can pray to God. So when you pray to God, you're talking to him. And then when you read the Bible, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are talking to you. That's how we build our faith, is we talk to God and we listen to him. And like we learned last week, we share about him. We tell everybody about Jesus because we know how much he loves us. All right, so I have an activity that we're gonna do. So the same way that we add to our faith, we pray and read our Bible and tell everybody about Jesus, well, it's the same thing you have to do with a flower or a plant. So I have this little plant here. Isn't it cute? It's growing so good. So this is my little zucchini plant that I grew from a seed. 
And what you're going to do at home is you're going to have a pot and you're going to have soil. And what you're going to do is you're going to plant a sunflower seed. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get your soil ready and put the soil in your pot. You're gonna take the seed, see this is my little seed, you can't really, let me see if I can, there it is. And you can put it in the soil. So what does a plant need to grow? Well, it needs the seed, it needs water. So I have water here, there you go. So you're gonna water it, it needs sun, and it needs the soil. So those are the things that make a plant grow. Well, it's the same thing with our faith. We add to our faith by reading his word and praying to God. So I wanted to encourage you guys, you know, in the morning or at night before you go to bed, ask your parents, can we pray together? Can we read God's word? And I'm telling you, your faith will grow in Jesus. All right, so I have a song and it's called Who Can Make a flower and it goes like this oh who can make a flower I'm sure I can't can you oh who can make a flower no one but God it's true all right so can you sing that with me oh who can make a flower I'm sure I can't can you oh who can make a flower no one but God it's true then we can sing, we can add another one. It says like, it goes like this. Oh, who can make a butterfly? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make a butterfly? No one but God is true. Oh, who can make a kitty? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make a kitty? No one but God is true. So, oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make a flower? No one but God is true. So, yep, God's the only one that can make the flowers. He can, he's the only one that can increase our faith. And so I hope you guys enjoyed our Bible story time and our fun little activity with planting a flower. And I look forward to seeing your flowers and seeing how they're growing. Um, Definitely, you gotta water them and you gotta let the sun kiss it. All right, guys, love you, and we're gonna close out in a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for your word and how you teach us how much you love us, that you love all people. You wanna take care of us, God. So thank you so, so, so much. I pray that the kids enjoyed today. I pray that they really enjoy planting their little sunflower. I pray that you make them grow. And I pray that you help our faith to grow as well. We love you so, so much in Jesus' name. So we're going to sing one more song. And it goes like, it's, um, our God is so great. Are you guys ready? Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiworks too. Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you and you and you and, you and me. Love you guys, hope you have a wonderful day.